welcome back. The scout group, in order to have them be considered damaged, they need to have a unit strength of 5 or less on the battlefield, and 2 or less in order to be destroyed. The benefit of having them damaged is that they roll at minus 3 on their movement chart, so that way they'll be a little bit more defensive and more likely to retreat back, giving me a better chance to charge in, get extra dice, and for them not to get the extra dice when attacking me. An enemy's total worth is in the top left hand corner, so the rifle team costs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 total unit strength. If I can reduce them down to 5, they'll be at half strength and rolling at minus 3. To start off, my only fast unit is Fetter, my machine gun team commander. I want to make sure that this attack succeeds, so I'm going to have Fetter and his machine gun team advance up. Because he's moving and shooting, Fetter gains 3 stress. What a miss! Come on! He had three dice, he needed a seven or higher on any one of them, and he missed all three. Now I'll be rolling for their tactical movement. They're not going to be that aggressive that time, but I still have a bad feeling about Fetter being out in the open. They rolled a two, but because of their battalion ability, they actually rolled a three, which means they're at this movement chart. For the tanks and half-tracks, they're going to advance if they cannot attack. However, both enemy tanks are within range of my machine gun team. The rifles, anti-tanks, and machine guns, of which there are only rifles, are going to advance to cover. That means that this rifle advances to cover. And finally, the trucks, infantry guns, mortars, and armored cars, of which there are only armored cars, are going to move to an adjacent cover, and they're always going to attempt to move to the highest cover. So this armored car is going to move into here, and then this armored car is going to move into there. First, we resolve this armored car's attack. He'll be rolling on a 6, plus 753's inherent zero defense, staying at a 6, and because they're both in the same cover hex, defense bonuses do not apply. He gets one die for inherently attacking, a second die for coming in to closer range, and a third die for range zero combat. Looks like they hit me twice. The first hit was an engine hit. The second hit, unfortunately, is a destroyed. Friedrich suffers a total of three stress, and the half track is gone. The good news is that Friedrich wasn't damaged, he's not wounded, and he can command something else next battle. The first hit inflicts an engine. This means he can't move. The second attack, unfortunately, inflicts a destroyed. Friedrich picks up an additional three stress, but thankfully he's unharmed. Friedrich suffers one, two, three stress, and the half track is gone. This means his counter is taken off the board. The second armored car is going to try to attack the closest German unit, which is either 922 or 474. 474 has a defense of 2, whereas 922 has a defense of 1, which means this armored car is going to be shooting at the machine gun team with a single die and inflicting a hit on a 7 or higher. He just barely hit. The hit he suffers is an immobile. This is bad. This means that he suffers one stress or cannot move next action. He's out in the open, so I can either have him sit still and hope he doesn't get shot at too much, or I can have him cost a stress and move back into the heavy cover or further away from the enemy units. First, the American tank will be rolling on a 3-4. He hits, he suffers a casualty hit. The first casualty doesn't matter, but on the second one the unit is destroyed. Finally, this Russian tank needs to roll a 2 with a 1 defense on the machine gun team making it a 3 in order to hit. 
He succeeds. Fetter is wounded. When a commander is wounded, he cannot enter battle next week, and it costs him one SO to heal. Also, if he gets a second wounded during this battle, he'll be killed. That concludes the enemy actions. Now it's my turn for a counterattack. First, I'm going to have my 022 Stug shoot at this rifle team. He would get a bonus against these armored cars, which are vehicles, but I don't want this rifle team advancing up and getting a shot off. My Stug gets a hit on a 7. With his commander ability, it brings it down to a 6. However, a rifle team's inherent cover is 1, bringing it up to a 7. And he's in cover, bringing it up to an 8. So I get two rolls, and on an 8 or higher from either roll, I will kill the rifle team. I hit both! Incredible. And with that, the rifle team is dead. With my last unit, 474, my Panzer IV, I'm going to have him advance into here. That means he gets one die for attacking, one die for advancing, one die for being in the same hex, as well as a final fourth die because of Hans's close combat ability. I need to roll a 5 in order to hit. Hans doesn't give me any bonuses at range 0. Because I'm in the same cover hex, they don't get any extra defense, and armored cars don't have any defense, so I just need to roll a straight 5 with 4 dice, and if any of them get 5 or more, that armored car is killed. Look at that, 3 hits, that armored car is killed. And with that, bam. They have three, six, seven points worth of forces left. I need to bring them down to five in order for them to be at half strength so they're still strong. And I adjust the turn counter. It's now the fast phase of turn three.